All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. So, um, still trying to figure out what I want to do with all of this. Uh, oh, right, I should probably open up the trainer. Uh, yeah, I, on some degree, and I think the uh, likes and di dislikes are starting to reflect this. But ah, oh, jeez. Okay, we're gonna need we're gonna need some ladders up in here. Do I have enough iron for this? I actually have no idea. Ah, uh, room parts. There we go. An invalid position. Oh. Is that... That is max height. Okay, cool. Uh, hmm. Do I have enough? I do have enough Corzagon to make some glass here. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's put one more here. Did that work? I have no idea. Okay, and let's make sure it's rotated the correct direction. There we are. Place. Kind of wish this actually had a ladder system like uh, Subnautica to some degree. All right, whatever. Anyway, uh, so now we've got this. Should let me. Hmm. This is interesting. Maybe I should. Okay. Maybe we should do it like this. Let's delete this door. We're gonna put. Another here and where is it? There it is. Looks like I have enough. Wait, really? This is an invalid position. Maybe I have to. Hmm. Oh, interesting. So I can't have it directly above. Everywhere else works. But I can't have it directly above the, um... The setup. Okay, so here we go. We've got several landing pads. And then we've got this. This looks kind of nice. And then we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more room up above. There we go. That'll be my room. So this way we can get. Uh, this way we can have a really nice base. Get up here. I think I still have enough Corzagon for windows and stuff. Honestly, I wish the windows were maybe a little bit uh, easier. It'd also be really nice if you could put like a glass dome up top. But no dice. Admittedly, anybody that comes in here... Uh, is it decoration? Yeah, it's decoration. Anybody that comes in here is going to be able to just... Or that like flies by is totally just going to be able to see into my bedroom. Whatever. It's not like it... It's not like I actually sleep in here. <laughs> um... Maybe, maybe I'll take out like half the windows, just so I have some wall room. Yeah, that that seems reasonable. Or at least I'll take out some of them. We want to have our collection of multi tools that we can't use. We want to have our computer desk over here. Not that it really matters. You know what? I like this. I, I like this as a lot. It's it's dumb. And it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But it works. Eh. Uh. Oh. It's R to rotate. There we go. Sadly, we can't unrotate things. There we are. That's placed a little bit better. And let's see, we do have stuff like this, which I'm really curious about. Might be able to make. I I can definitely make one of those. Uh, let's have this be our computer chair, even if we can't sit in it. 
It's a bit of a shame. Yeah, I, I thought I was going to be done with this, but I'm kind of glad I came back. Uh, at least for a little bit longer. Just so I could... What is this thing? I thought it was going to be a bench, but it's kind of more of a, a desk table. Situation. Alright. Well. Honestly. I don't really like any of these. This is useless. I don't even know what this is. It's like a weird floor thing, but like... No matter what, its placement is weird and dumb. Can I put that there? Yep. Looks like I can put that there. Neat. I don't know why I'd, I'd like this banner, banner the best. Just looks kind of nice. I'll have to put a flag outside. Alright, we wanted one of these. Sadly, the best way to place it involves... Like a little bit of weird cheese. Actually, you know what? No. We don't want to put... We don't want to put this table here. I'm kind of recreating my room from earlier. I'm just recreating it in such a way that we have a little bit more space to work with. I'd swear I'm playing way too many uh, sandbox games here. Just, uh, with, like, base customization that doesn't do anything. Like, this, Subnautica, stuff like that. I don't know. They're all fun games. I just wish you could do things with them. I'm I'm finding myself consistently enamored with, um, uh, consistently enamored with Dragon Quest builders, if only because you can build a settlement that people actually kind of care about. Uh, which is something that... None of the other games really do, uh, in my opinion, and I find that's kind of disappointing. Let's see, can I have this right here? The flag kind of clips into it a bit, but whatever. Uh, let's see, do we have anything else here? We'd like these. Wish they were kind of wall-mounted instead of floor-based. Actually, I don't... Oh, we're out of iron. Well, whatever. We've got our bedroom again. It's good enough. We got landing pads again. They're good. Uh, let's see. I assume I'm going to need some more... Yeah, we're going to need to go grab some more iron. Should probably actually put a... Exit. Oh, yeah, we can totally... Maybe? I don't know. Still got to work on some of these things. Okay, this music is kind of weird, weirdly... It's it's super mellow, which is actually kind of messing with my head a little bit. Because, you know, I, I I do I do really like this game. I, I apologize for the people that are kind of unhappy that this series is ending. It's just one of those where it's about time that I kind of move on. You little shits. I feel like I should be able to put up, like, uh, defenses so I can mine shit in the peace of my own home and not have to worry about them just showing up to bite at my ankles. You'd think. Oh, well. I hope my trees grow back. I don't mean to be cutting them, cutting them down. It's just kind of dumb collateral. Yeah. Well, it is kind of opening up the view a little bit. how landing is going to work on this thing. Alright, whatever. Uh, okay, so I wanted to come up here to the second section. I guess we do have entrances and exits onto the things. Anyway. I'm going to put windows. Make it look nice and inviting. Uh, then we want to do structure, glass corridor, and... It's a room part for a door, yes? Okay, cool. So this should just bring us out here. Honestly, I don't think there's actually anything I can put here.
Oh. I forgot I can't, um... I can climb using my jetpack here. Oh, we should probably recharge you. Luckily, I've got, like, a billion thing. Yeah, so I can't, uh, I can't fly or even jump in that mode. Oh, that's okay. All right, let's see if I can put a foundation down. Nope, doesn't look like I can put... What is even the point of foundation? I have no idea. Anyway, uh, decoration. I wanted to put... I even know what this stuff is. I want to build at least one. Alright, now we have this thing on top of the house for whatever reason. Uh, let's see. Do any of these? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, there we go. Now we get a flag on top of our house. For reasons, also don't know. Okay, so I've got this system. I was expecting it would let me build... You know, like a, a landing pad out here, but it looks like that's not the case, which sucks, because... It would have been really cool to have a landing pad directly on top of here, but yeah, it's no good. Oh, question. Oh, bye. It's actually kind of a decent looking ship, maybe. Hard to say, really. Need a bypass chip. Uh, can make them. Still bothers me that you need to, to begin with. Just comes off as weird. I don't have any plutonium left. Whatever. Uh, okay, here. Let's, let's pop back down in our ship. So the cheat for uh, infinite building uh, has kind of a weird chance of breaking. So there's a small chance it's not going to work. I'm also noticing uh, ships only seem to land at one pad at a time. Which is kind of unfortunate, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Anyway, we want to do uh, numpad 9. There we are. Okay, so now I can make anything anything and everything for free. So now my starship will actually land here. Sadly, the no crafting requirements does not actually work for construction, but it does work for some other things. Okay. So, I guess... Let's fly over here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use all of the bypass chips. Oh. I guess I'm going to have to make, uh... Several. I'm, I'm just going to make it so we can bring our, our spaceship to any of these. Whenever we want. Not that it really matters. It's... Oh, wait. I should have hit the previous one, come to think of it. Ah! Yeah, yeah, what? Camera, hi, things, perfect. Okay, there we go. Stop with the sad music. Give me something positive, No Man's Sky. Dang, whatever. I just realized I have an R2 unit. Sort of. I mean, it's not, but it looks like one. <laughs> I like this fighter, actually. I, I think I'll keep it forever. Uh, at least until I have a reason to... Let's see, is there actually a ship coming down to land? I have no idea. Okay, so where where do we want want to put this thing? I'm gonna make a trade terminal, and then I'm gonna go take a look at the map. Oh wait, no, we already have a galactic trade terminal. Wow. Okay, never mind then. Kind of makes this moot. So, I guess the last option we have, kind of, is working on the farm in here. I guess I can turn this off. If we've already got the trade terminal and the other things, apart from cheating up resources, there's not really a whole lot of reason to do. Okay, uh... I guess let's go back to farming. Okay, so do we have any of the candesium flowers? We do not. So that is important. Let's go see if I can buy some candesium. Either we're gonna have to check one of the ships, or I'm gonna have to go elsewhere. I guess we might actually be done with this in one... One sitting. Please have candesium so I don't have to go anywhere. And the answer is... Yes! Okay, cool. I'm just gonna buy like 300. I know we need candesium for a lot of stuff, so having several of the plants is... 
Seems like a reasonable idea. Okay, anything else? Oh, we got like nickel and some other bits that are kind of rare and handy. I don't know what I want to do with my farm here. I really don't like how, um... How narrow this all is. Maybe we'll tear it up for a second. Maybe we... Yeah, let's make this into a 5x5 five five room and... And fit it properly. Because, like... I just don't like how... How thin it is. It feels like this weird hall. And I don't want that. Alright, we're gonna need a stupid amount of iron. I guess let's go back and see if I can just buy a couple thousand iron. Uh... Can I just put most of this stuff away? Well, let's sell the, uh... Let's sell the album in Pearl. At some point, I'll farm for some more. Yeah, since everything is starred here, pretty much everything that, uh... We buy is gonna be ultra expensive, but everything that we, uh... Everything that we sell back is also going to be stupid expensive. There we are. Okay, let's make some more cuboid rooms. I don't know if I'll work on the third floor. I might even cut the third floor off of this thing. For extra resources. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, let's, let's do it for the time being. I'll keep this for the time being. I'll, I'll figure I'll, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do there. Yeah, right. We're gonna have to replace most of these farms too. Well, it's okay. It doesn't cost me anything to do so. Can I stand on the farms? Hey, I can. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'll make sure I get the resources from them first, just in case. Not that it matters. Okay, so we got mordite. We do not have any coprite. Uh plants, though. Let's make sure... Yep, we've got the resources for it. And again, I can always replant whenever I want. Okay. Yeah, because I want to get... Um, Okay, I want to get a lot of farms in here, but I also want to have like some room for windows and whatnot. Alright, so I'm probably going to start the middle farms right there, and then the edge farms right there. There we go. Okay, this will give me a lot of room to walk through here. Almost too much room. But it'll be nice, it'll give me a, a nice way to put layers around and stuff. Okay, let's destroy these. Oh, in inventory is full. That's worrying. I'd hate to lose the resources I used to make any of these, for obvious reasons. Okay, anyway, uh, let's start with the Candesium plants. Do, do we have... no. Guess we did. Okay, for vidium plants. There we go. I should probably have a more specific order to how I did some of these. I don't, don't think I've done any of the weird cacti plants yet. Definitely haven't done any mordite plants yet. Is this? This is the coprite. Okay, cool. So I can get some coprite plants too. Uh, you know, let's cancel that. We're gonna want the the room to get through here. Okay, coprite plants. 
Honestly, I'm probably just going to build as much of every one of these as I possibly can. Cory Zagan is kind of the, the main need, though. I don't know if glass sells as well as I think it does, but since we don't have to worry about structural integrity here, like in um, Subnautica, I'm pretty much just going to cover this entire place in Cory Zagan plants. Okay, we got that taken care of. We've got that. Can't make any more of those. And I guess at this point it's just Gravitino orbs. Okay, so I can I can build one of each of the rarer resources. Might be able to build more later. And I might prioritize doing so. Oh, oh, you know what? We probably need either Thamium or Antrium. What do we need? Probably not Thamium, so I guess we'll try Antrium. I hope we can buy it here. If not, I guess we can go check the ships or we can go get some from our own stocks. Really wish I could grow Antrium. Like, I don't know. I, I don't like the fact that it's limited. It'd be way more fun if you could do kind of whatever you wanted. Like... It would be really neat in this game if you could find a plant out, out and around and be like, I'm going to plant that. And it's going to be like, sure. Like, that would be nice. Yeah, so we're totally out of Thamium. We got Mordite for days. Uh, do we have do we have any th Thamium mushrooms left in here? I don't know what it takes to get them to respawn. I assume time and maybe like some loading screens and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I guess to some degree I, I wish this game worked closer to a sandbox game. I like it as an exploration game, but uh, kind of like a... Uh, kind of like... Oh, that's a good example. Okay, good. We do have a big cave in here, though. Still don't need see any Thamium. Uh, I kind of like Feel the Snow. I like this game a lot. You know, it's got a lot of interesting ideas and stuff. and it's Or oh, Antrium. Why am I thinking Thamium? Um, I like this game a lot. It has a lot of interesting ideas and it's kind of fun to explore. Um, but I kind of feel like it needed, needs a little bit more unity in its mechanics. And it needs to decide if it's going to be more of a sandbox game, uh, more of an exploration game, and what. Because the Foundation at, uh, the Foundation up update pretty much switched it from being a exploration game to being a hybrid. But there's not enough mechanics to really justify. Also, yeah, we don't have enough Antrium in my stocks. And I kind of want to don't... I, I kind of don't want to go, like, wildly out of my way to find another cave. I could just start digging down and hoping for the best. Or we could just go buy some, probably. Um, But... Let's see. We got to have something here that has Antrium. Do we not? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, I guess we'll just go back through here. Um, but you know, I, I kind of hope that they expand on the on both, uh, just to flesh it out a little bit more. Cause yeah, my I have very few base parts to use, and most of them are like, what's a good example? I guess with Dragon Quest Builders, which I was talking about earlier, you can uh, you can very easily you know put together a house that actually does something, serves a purpose. You can sit down and whatever, and like ultimately, it's still kind of shallow, and it doesn't have like a truly substantive like use. It's not like you really need to be there. You could totally get your resources otherwise, or not at all. Um, which is fine, I guess. But like for here, I I made a bed that I can't lie in. I made chairs that I can't sit in, uh, and that's a little maddening. Uh, let's see. Antrium. There we are. Unfortunately, Antrium's kind of expensive, but that's fine. There's marine nickel. A lot of these are kind of useful. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, I don't know. I guess I just wish you come across a chrysonite plant while you're out and about, and you can just take the sample back with you and grow it, but you have to figure out what it's what's required to get it to grow well. 
stuff like that. Maybe you even have to make like temp controlled, um, you know, farming bays and stuff like that specifically for each thing and, you know, make it a little bit more sandboxy instead of being like, here are five different plants that you can plant, but it's kind of random. Like, Rakugen, for example. I should totally be able to make an underwater, uh, you know, farm. Uh, an under, uh, literally a hydroponics farm, um, specifically for underwater plants. So stuff like, aren't Gravitino orbs also underwater? I think Venom Sacks might be too. Um, but you know, maybe just a couple of like underwater hydroponics farms or even like smaller ones. There's grass inside, but yeah, whatever, this is fine. Um, you know, underwater ones, uh, to, to, you know, accommodate the new plants. Like that would be way cool to me. I'd really like that. It'd also be really nice if I could build a little bit more importantly on my freighter as opposed to this kind of just dumb back, back room nonsense. It doesn't really help me too much. Okay. I don't know. I'm just belly aching for the point of belly aching here. Uh, so do we get the... These... That, okay, so we've got corporate orbs, we've got at least, okay, so we don't have enough Tamarium. That I can buy from here, so we don't have to make a trip for it. I want to have at least two of every plant so we can make more later. And also it just looks nice. And then I'll probably make, like, a little bit more. Okay. I don't know. I guess I've also just been playing too much Subnautica, so it's affecting how I think about different games. Okay, so I guess I can make two more of these. Let's make them over here. Because I think I used Tamarium for stuff. Could make more Cory Zagan, but I don't care too much. Uh... But I think for the time being, I'm going to just start plonking down the more valuable stuff. Can I make any more of these? Or it required uh, Tamarium as well. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, lastly, room parts infrastructure. I guess it's... Oh, right, no, it's in cuboid rooms. I do have these, but I don't like them nearly as much as these. Probably going to want to go buy some more Cory Zag in here. Not too much, but I want to... I want, well, no, actually, like, almost a comical amount. I want to be able to cover that entire room in windows. It makes no sense to have, you know, a garden that's dark. I guess if you're, like, growing mushrooms and stuff, that'd be nice. But still, anyway, uh, Cory Zagan. We gotta have some, right? Crap. Let's see if we have any ships. I haven't checked it. Oh, what? We have a ship. Huh, that's weird. I think it just needed to be reminded. It was there. Also, getting around here is some kind of nightmare. Okay, so where's the where's the ship that just landed? It's you. This is a cool looking ship. I think I see it every time and I'm like, how big are you? And it's always never enough. And it's also one of those where I don't care too much. Anyway, uh, do you sell Cory Zagan? Looks like they also have... No, they, they seem to have more because they sell like explosives. Which I haven't even messed with. So yeah, I guess if my trade terminal doesn't have enough, we can always come out here and talk talk to these guys. No? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna grab a hundred and then spend like all of my money on it. I'm glad that everybody sells everything, even if it does kind of cheese the game. You're not supposed to be rotated like this, or are you? Yes, you are. Okay, good. Weird bugs.
Oh, yeah, we, maybe we should put a door here. All right, let's delete that. Uh, we'll put a door there. But then apart from that, it's just going to be square windows. Might not have enough. We'll see. One more. Well, I don't know if he's left or not. I guess here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna put a window in there. And a window up here. This actually probably works better. Um, room parts. Door. There we are. So what this, what this does is effectively I can just continue my farms all the way to the edge. Right here. There we are. And that way, if and when I do expand this room, all we need to do is just add more pieces. Good stuff. Okay, and I'm going to add this second floor to this. I should probably figure out where to put a ladder. I mean, the other thing is I can just fly up. It'd be really neat if I could put ramps on. Do we want that? It feels almost kind of impressive. Oppressive. Let's just do this. There we are. So we've got this kind of weird second floor right here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to keep it here. Um, Maybe we will do the... Not enough res- oh. Right, I'm at a Heridium. Okay. Yeah, I'll just do this right here. That way we have a way to get up and go over and whatever, and columns and stuff. Oh, hey, they're already done growing. Nice. Can I- okay, you're not done growing and I can't reach the Spidonium. That's weird. Out of the way. I think- I think we're good. I was shooting for 42 episodes, and it looks like we're only going to be able to get 41. But that's okay, too, I guess. We don't we don't need to. I guess I'm just going to make whatever extras we can while I have resources for it. We don't need organization. We need flowers or stuff. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I really was shooting for 42 episodes. But I think I'm only going to be able to get 41 out of this. And that's okay, I guess. I tried. I mean, we could hop in the ship and fly around. But if I start doing that, then this series just never stops. And to be fair, I actually... Okay, so caveat. Uh, I, I don't know how this series is going to go from here. We might actually just keep going. Uh, the problem is I have a, I have a really hard time tearing myself away from this game. Oh, let's go up to the third floor. I really wish I could do floor markers or something. Oh, you know what? I could always just... Okay, hold on. We got one other little prog project to do here. I think. I don't like this combined ladder setup. It's making me cranky. So what we're going to do is go here. And we're just going to alternate the ladders. There we go. Okay. So now, now it's much easier to count the floors and get in and out and stuff like that. Okay, let's summon our ship. What? Are you sh shitting me? Alright. So my land landing pad is useless. If I want to save... <laughs> I have to do it from here. That is dumb. I mean, it works, but what it might mean is at some point I'll make a separate trade tower later. <laughs> okay, this probably needs some fixing too. 
Let's just tear these up. They don't need to be here right now. I'll just do one. I'll just do a second one of these and that'll be good enough. Yeah, ho hopefully someday I can either add like glass roofs on top of these things or put some kind of platform system so I can have an upper deck. Sadly, we just don't have the parts for that. It makes me sad because I really want to make like this nice looking complex or even a whole complex that's based out of square blocks and stuff like that because that looks nice. We you know balconies, railings, all that jazz and instead no dice. All right, whatever. Anyway, can I make a, a save thing again? I swear I had one earlier, but I guess that must have been before I recreated the entire thing. Uh, I'll put it over here. Seeing as there's space and... This way won't bother me as much. There we go. Okay, so we've saved. We're good to go. I'm gonna go double save just in case because I'm a crazy person. I hate to lose this work. Okay, so like I was saying, I'll see you guys next time. I really don't know when. I don't know how this series is gonna continue. It might actually be one of those that occasionally when I get when I feel in the mood to explore the galaxy, I'll do a couple of episodes, put them up, stuff like stuff like that. Because I mean, we still need to make it to blue stars. Uh, we still probably need to find a new place to put my base down. I'm just really satisfied with what we currently have uh, and stuff like that. And also, I don't want to go through all this work a second time around. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And obviously, I guarantee it, whenever they update this game, I will be there to cover it. Because No Man's Sky, for all the hate people give it, is actually it's still one of my favorite games of 2016. Uh, not for what it was promised to be, but for what it ended up being. Um, and I'm hoping that it actually continues to be updated and becomes one of my favorite games of 2017 too. But I don't know when the next update is, and right now, I need to move on for at least a little while. So, like I said two episodes ago, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you guys next time.